with another Chrome review guys and um, Pixel Extended 4.1 official Android 12 ROM has been released for Redmi 7 and Redmi Y3 and you guys already know about Pixel ROMs because Pixel ROMs always comes with smoothness and comes with G apps so you guys don't need to worry about any G apps so G apps already included and let me uh, clear a few things uh, before we start uh, into the full review so uh, first problem is the stock recovery so you guys will face that problem as it is Android 12 and some of Android Android 12 ROMs we are getting recently we are getting that problem recovery stock problem so if you want to pass the recovery stock problem then you guys can see here I already installed magisk so you guys uh, need to install magisk only problem I found which is recovery stack issue so if you guys want to overcome that problem you guys already uh, can watch the video I already provided a video where you guys can easily pass that problem uh, but this is provisional not for permanent but you guys can solve this problem so watch the video link will be in description so and without that I don't get any complaint about this room this is just mind-blowing room and mind-blowing smoothness so let me start from the settings here you can see about section android version 12 and extended version 4.1 android security update which very latest from this month and kernel used lineage os plus and after that we have system and you guys can use live translate gestures and of course we have some customizations here and swipe to screenshot you guys can enable this one from here and double tap to check your phone you just can enable check or here you guys can see quick tap and this is actually useless for this device it, it doesn't work never and so don't use that one and after that of course we have the google and digital well-being everything is just working without any problem and here password and accounts and then safety and emergency which is great and after that we have location and here is the privacy and we have we, you guys can get security here and we have some features here like you guys can see here the screen lock and I'm using here pin lock and let me show you that just let me lock my device so here is the lock screen you guys can see I already entered the password but it didn't unlock yet until I click on that arrow and if you like uh, MIUI then we have feature on MIUI that just put the password or pin and it will instantly unlock so you guys can see here the quick unlock system if you just enable this one and then try and you guys can see double tap gesture is working without any problem and you guys can see I didn't click on arrow and it instantly unlocked so this is a feature and another thing will be here which is a scramble layout and your password will be changed every time you unlock your device so let me show you that so here you guys can see no arrangement uh, 0 4 3 6 9 whatever the combination will be changed every time so when you use that one so double one nine seven so this is it if you want to use that thing this is cool feature I guess you guys can use and here is the accessibility as usual you guys already know about that I don't want to waste your time and here is the wallpaper and style of course you guys can use theme icons if you want to enable this one so here you guys can see it's already changed let me show you so this is already changed and this is a cool feature of course from Android 12 and you guys can change wallpaper so many built-in wallpapers you guys will get here and so many so many wallpapers are there but must connect your device with Wi-Fi or data so here is a dark theme and app grid you guys can use so many app grid are there and after that of course we have display settings adaptive brightness log screen and font display size smallest width so many things are there and double tap to wake of course perfectly working and here you guys can see I'm using the uh, not a serif source sans pro I'm using that font and you guys can use and here you guys can see icon shape leaf which I'm using right now and here is the icon pack you guys can change easily 
oxygen waste so that's why my icon already changed you guys can see and sound and vibration and user interface is a bit different not like a single arrow it's like bold type media volume call volume whatever you say it looks really great and monet that means theme engine is working without any problem and the uh, haptics are really great working fine and no problem with battery backup i play call, uh, not call of duty i played pubg mobile for a long time and i got great performance no problem with that and here is the snow house that means customizations hub you guys can see and combined signal icons if you combine signal icons then you guys won't be able to see here any network signal if i just turn this off now you guys will be able to watch that and it will take some time after that you guys can see here volti icon and select volti icon vo wifi icon and vo wifi icon style so many things are there you guys can customize according to your choice and here is the clock options you guys can select and battery percentage where you want to show you guys can select and after that just swipe right you guys will get double tap uh, to sleep on his log screen you guys can enable that feature and after that you guys will get navbar gesture customizations this is it and if you don't want that navigation pillbar just click on full screen gesture and your navigation pillbar will be hidden so this is it and after that we uh, have advanced restart menu you guys can enable that too and we have some other customizations I have to share with you guys and here you guys can see let me show you that uh, show brightness slider in quick QS panel so if you uh, slide down the control center and you guys won't be able to see any brightness slider here if you enable this one you guys will be able to see the brightness slider and you guys can change from here as well you don't need to scroll down the whole control center so this is the thing actually and as it, uh, you guys already know about that control center and everything is here dark mode extra dim night light everything is working without any problem and i checked everything here you guys can easily use and no lag and stutter i didn't found any and you guys can see the smoothness here everything is working without any problem and as usual we have the body and everything so you guys can see here the network and internet section as usual the other things are there and of course i already rooted with magic manager and which is very latest magic 24.1 stable and here you guys can see i am using jidisk that means uh, in future you guys will not get any magic hide option only jidisk is real so that's it and let me open and ram management is really crazy great and don't go with that graph and other uh, some kind of paperwork like geekbench score i don't believe in all those things i believe in real life performance what i got i need to share with you guys so that's it and here you guys can see cpu throttle to 85 percent and which is very decent for that rom and uh, according to me don't believe in those things like paperwork so after that let me show you the safety net and you guys need to if you are using 24.1 or 24 then you guys will be uh, won't be able to uh, pass the safety net sometime it will pass sometime it will fail so this is it you guys and i will this is, uh, provide another video for that and let me show you the geekbench So here is the single and multi core score. You guys can see single core is okay and multi core is a bit lower. But I don't believe in all those things. I said you guys and I don't want to show you play playing games because I played games and believe me, I got really great performance. And if you use that module, then you guys will get always constantly 60 FPS in gaming PUBG Mobile. So no problem with that. And here you guys can see the smoothness which is mind blowing no lag and stutter you guys will not get anything and RAM management is really great 
so that's it and by default you guys will get the gcam the important thing is that you guys don't need to find out any gcam because built-in gcam is here you guys can easily use that gcam portrait night nice side everything is working without any problem and you guys can customize according to your choice from the settings what you need so this is really great and you guys can use uh, of course here is the more settings and some other things are there and you guys can use any xml file according to your choice so now nice said everything is working you guys can easily use so if you click it will work so photo already clicked this is it so i think you guys can so here is the wizard you guys can see clock wizards some clock wizards are there uh, this is it and let me show you that here is the smoothness you guys can see so many tabs are open and i think it's great and ram management is really great you guys can see here if you are uh, ready to install this rom then you are welcome because uh, this is really a great rom so that's why i can recommend you blindly you guys can use this rom so that's it hope you guys understand the video and if you uh, want to know anything then let me know in the comment section below and i'll try to help so thank you for watching